Imran Khan, the 72-year-old former Prime Minister of Pakistan, has been kept in deplorable, inhumane conditions by Pakistan's military government inside the maximum security Adiala jail. Speaking to the media today, his sister Alima Khan, after a brief meeting with Imran Khan, said, quote, he was kept for five days without any electricity, without any human contact, and hygienic food was given to him, causing his health to deteriorate. Neither the family nor the lawyers were informed, unquote. This was the first meeting between Mr. Khan and his family since October 3rd. Alima Khan, who was also jailed by the military government, added that Mr. Khan was only allowed outside his cell for an hour after five consecutive days. Why is he being tortured? Did they want to assassinate him? She asked. Imran Khan has now been kept in jail illegally for 450 days. Imran Khan, the illegally incarcerated former Prime Minister of Pakistan, has said Pakistanis are living under occupation similar to British colonial occupation in the subcontinent. In a brief message to Pakistanis from his death cell, Mr. Khan said, quote, It seems we are living under colonial occupation in Pakistan, where freedom of expression and protests are banned. We don't have permission to stand for our rights. We, the people of Pakistan, must decide whether we want to crawl like ants in our country or stand for freedom and our fundamental rights. Unquote. Pakistan is currently under a brutal, undeclared martial law where thousands have been arbitrarily detained and tortured. 20 British members of Parliament have written a letter to Foreign Secretary David Lemmy calling for former Prime Minister Imran Khan's release from jail. The letter says, quote, We are writing with grave concern about the continued detention of former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan. Mr Khan's ongoing detention represents a grave threat to democracy in the country, unquote. The letter is signed by members of both houses of Parliament across all major political parties. In the letter, the parliamentarians express grave concerns over the ex-PM's detention, adding that they believed the incarceration was a politically motivated move to disqualify him from contesting elections. Last week, 63 representatives of the US Congress have signed a letter to the Biden administration urging the release of arbitrarily detained Imran Khan and all the political prisoners held under illegal captivity by Pakistan's military regime. A massive protest was held by overseas Pakistanis in Barcelona, Spain on Sunday calling for the release of Imran Khan and against the grave human rights violations in the country. With the PTI flags in hands and posters of victims of state torture, members of the Pakistani diaspora choked the alleys in Barcelona, chanting slogans against the military regime in Pakistan. Advisor to Imran Khan, Dr. Shahbaz Gil, while addressing the protesters, praised overseas Pakistanis and the role they've played in highlighting the fascism in Pakistan. Microsoft has fired two employees who organized a vigil at the company's headquarters for Palestinians killed in Gaza during Israel's war with Hamas. The two employees told the Associated Press they were fired by phone call late Thursday, several hours after a lunchtime event they organized at Microsoft's campus in Redmond, Washington. The occupation Israeli state has killed 43,000 Palestinians and wounded more than 100,000 since October last year, with 11,000 missing, presumed dead, under the rubble of their homes and other civilian infrastructure destroyed by the occupation state. Abdu Muhammad and Hossam Nasr told AP News Agency that they organized a vigil at the company's headquarters, quote, to honor the victims of the genocide in Gaza and draw attention to Microsoft's complicity in this genocide, unquote.